tired? You love me? Well, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. You can't say it? No? Why? So you don't love me, right? No, you don't love me. You can't say it. That don't mean you love me. I love you. I said it. Now you say it back. No? So you don't love me. So, okay. All right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. My mornings, y'all. My mornings. I'm done. I'm done. She ain't, so you ain't my baby girl, right? Hey guys. Oh, so I just dropped my husband off at work. Took the kids to school. Well, Sophie, anyway. Um, and I swung by Sally's. So. I figured I'd do a, a car haul really quick. Um, if you watched my last empties, you saw that I had to get rid of my wet brush. It was just old and like the little ball tips on the end of the brush were falling off. So it was real scratchy when you brush your hair. So I got a new wet brush and I love this coral color and it has like hot pink um, in the brush. It's really, really fun. So I got that and then I got some 40 volume um, this is actually a hair developer like for coloring your hair but my son um, Jarek is going to use this to ice the soles of his tennis shoes so um, that's just a little tip if you have like Jordans or any type of shoe that has an icy sole and your sole starts to turn like yellow and just discolored um, use some 40 volume and it should clear it right up So if you want a tutorial on that I can grab Jarek and we can make a video for you um, to show how to do it. So um, Comment in the um, video if you want uh, a tutorial on how to ice your shoes. So got that and then I got this large <laughs> top coat this is a fast dry 60 second top coat uh, it was only like three dollars on sale so I got that and you guys know I can't go anywhere without snagging some nail polish cuz that's what I do and I've never heard of this brand it's called Bitsy Bitsy nail color and this is a it's like a neon blue but it has this like duochrome shift to it it's really really pretty and it's in the shade April showers so how can I pass that up I'm an April baby so I grabbed this and I don't even know how much this was let me see oh a dollar sixty so not bad and it's just a, like a mini version and then I grabbed two of the Sally girl polishes they're only 99 cents so I got two hot pink colors or neon colors I got a neon pink and a neon orange I think these type of shades are so fun for spring and summer um, so this orange one is called crazy and the pink one is called cool so I grabbed those really excited about my new wet brush because I really 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 needed one bad and you know I'm always trying different fast drying top coats I love the Sech V but I feel like it gets so thick and goopy like halfway through the bottle and if you know anything about the such beat brand um, the shit ain't cheap it's like over ten dollars for that little bottle so uh -uh, I ain't with all that it's just wasting product I mean you can always get thinner but then that's more money you got to to buy to buy something so to add to it to thin it out I'd rather just get a really nice top fast drying top coat that I'm not gonna have to thin out halfway through the bottle so I'm gonna try this one um, they had like the regular size bottle and it was only a dollar cheaper so I was like fuck it I'll just get the large bottle it's like double the amount for a dollar more so that's what I got I've never tried the brand before so fingers crossed so now I'm on my way to family dollar mama's got to get some Ziploc bags because I don't have any and um, 
I need to get some bug spray. Oh my God, y'all. So my son was playing a video game the other day and he, I, I was in my room and all I, oh my God, look at these dogs. Oh my God, why are they running through the parking lot? Where the fuck did they come from? Oh my God, where'd they go? Y'all, I'm like an animal, like, crazy person. If I see stray animals, I don't care what kind of animal it is. I'm like, oh. Uh. I rescued a turtle this morning. He was like this big. Um, he was headed to, to the street, so I rescued him. I actually, oh my God, there they go again. I was on a main road one day in the middle of rush hour traffic, and I seen a turtle. It was about this big, and he was right on the line right on the edge of the line. Heidi, if you're watching this video, do you remember that day I had to pull over? I mean, I even passed the turtle. I had to turn around in the middle of the street, go past the turtle again, make another turn around and go back. And then I parked, I pulled my car over and parked on the side of the road to rescue this turtle. It was like a baby turtle. He's about that big. Um, oh my God, look at these dogs, y'all. Where'd they come? Where'd they go? see them? What are they doing? Where did they come from? <whistles> they're obviously buddies because they're like, oh my god, please. They're so dirty. Oh my god. I'm like freaking out. I feel like I need to go follow them. Oh my god. Let me see if they need some. Oh my god. This must be somebody's dogs. This lady is following him. Or maybe, oh, he's trying to take a shit in the street. Oh, you guys, he's taking a dump in the street. Poor baby. They're buddies because they're sticking together. But anyway. Oh my gosh, they're going to get hit. There's a main road up ahead. I'm like freaking out right now not even funny. They're sticking together though. Oh my god, I hope they don't get hit. Are those your dogs? Oh my god, they're headed towards the street. I'm like freaking out. They're like best friends. It's so cute. <laughs> I hope they don't get hit. But anyway, um, oh my God, please don't get hit by a car. Oh God, you guys are headed towards the main road. Oh, I can't take it. I can't watch. Oh my God, I can't do it. Where did they go? I hope they went behind the building and not towards the street because I cannot stand. Anyway, I don't even know what the hell I was saying. Oh, so my son, right? So I heard a loud, see, I get sidetracked. So I heard a loud scream, like a loud scream. So I go running in there and he's like standing on top of the furniture. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, oh my God, mom, there was a huge spider on my leg. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. So I'm like, I have arachnophobia really, really bad. So anyway, I was like, how big was the spider? And I shit you not. He was like, like this big. And I'm like, no, like that's like that big could fit in the palm of my hand. It was like this big. And I'm like, no. And he was like, it was crawling on my leg, mom. And I was freaking out. So I go and find the bug spray and the bug spray can is like empty is like two squirts left in it. So we found the spider and I squirted the bug spray on it and eventually it shriveled up and died but I was like oh my god if that fucking thing would have got on me I would have had a heart attack I do not do spiders so <laughs> I need to get some bug spray because mm -mm. see we live in Florida and this rain brings the bugs in Ooh, and not only the spiders but those big ass cockroaches or people call them palmetto bugs I call them cockroaches they look like cockroaches to me but anyway they're like freaking three inches long oh and they fly mm -mm. see mm -mm. I, 
am I'm traumatized because many 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 years ago I swear one was chasing me and I was running and it was flying right for my face oh my god I hope those dogs did not go in the street you guys Lamb. But anyway, if I was a millionaire, I would buy like a thousand acres of land somewhere and just have a safe haven for stranded, neglected, abandoned animals. Like that's what I would do. That's what I would do. But anyway, um, I'm going to go home. I don't know if I'm going to film today or not. I might just, I have a, I have probably... 15 videos that I can edit and publish so I really don't need to film I kind of just need to work on what I already have filmed because I pre-film all of my videos because I don't I can't film I can't film like I don't have a schedule oh my god I need to pay my electric bill and I just passed the store that's okay I'll pay it at the other store but anyway um so I'm gonna go to family dollar and get some bug spray and some um, Ziploc bags because I buy like the family pack of meat whether it be beef or chicken or whatever and obviously once you freeze it and thaw it you can't refreeze it so what I do is I buy the huge packs and then I separate them into portions so that you know I can get three to four meals out of each pack so I need some more Ziploc bags like storage bags you know freezer bags whatever you call them but anyway that's what I'm doing I might even stop at the um, Goodwill just to see I like to peek every now and then to see what's um, what's available but um yeah my husband um, I think he's off this weekend it's Memorial weekend so we may try to take the kids somewhere they're leaving in a few weeks so um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't really like to take them out in crowds like that, especially when there's like heavy drinking involved, just because um, my husband has a short temper and I don't have a short temper, but once you get me to a point, I'm like straight gangster, like straight the fuck up. So <laughs> us two together in a crowd of people with our children, mm -hmm. I'm like mama bear mode and if anybody bumps into us or steps on my kids I'm like ready to slice your throat like ain't happening so anyway I know that seems like a bit <laughs> overkill but it is what it is so I'm gonna run into this family dollar it's right up here and um, I'll chat with you guys later so if we do decide to go anywhere this weekend of course I will take you guys with us but that's still kind of up in the air so every time every time so I'm just now leaving the family dollar now remember I said I needed Ziploc bags and bug spray $42 later I'm just leaving the store so I'm not gonna go to Goodwill because I wasn't planning on spending $42 at family dollar but it happened so I I'm gonna go to the bank and deposit some money and that way I won't spend it so that's what I'm about to do I'm about to do it I'm about to do it I feel like you know if I don't have the cash in my purse then I won't use it so how much cash do I have so anyway I'm gonna run to the bank and then I'm gonna go home I'll show you what I got from um, Family Dollar when I get to the house. Um, it's nothing exciting, but I'll show you anyway. So I'll see you later. So I decided for lunch today, I eat Subway. I'm gonna get a sandwich. I prefer um, to, I don't know, like I hate fast food, you guys. I really hate, like McDonald's, Burger King, places like that, I really, that is like, <laughs> if I'm desperate to eat and there's really nothing else available, I mean, of course I'll get it, but I hate fast food, so if I can, I'll get, you know, like Larry's or Subway, like a sandwich or um, 
I'll just order food to go from like a place like Cracker Barrel or something like that because I hate fast food and I definitely don't eat at um, Wendy's you guys did you know that their meat is 40% horse horse meat like are you kidding me uh -uh. I ain't eating no horse meat so oh my god when I seen that on the news I flipped out because I used to eat Wendy's all the time and uh -uh. and um, the CEO of the company had made a statement about it and was like yeah we use filler like 40% filler to our beef and it's horse meat so uh -uh. I ain't eating Wendy's no more you guys that really just like made me so disgusted when I said, why did we not get the light? Oh my god. So anyway, I just got a sweet tea. I prefer tea over soda. Um, I already went to the bank, so now I'm just going to go home, and like I said, I'll show you what I got from Family Dollar um, when I get to the house. I did grab a, quite a few things, and then I already showed you what I got from Sally's, so... I'm going to pay my electric bill after I pick my husband up from work because I don't feel like making any more stops. It's already 11 o'clock in the morning and I've been gone since 8, before 8. So it's time for me to get my ass home. I'm hungry and I'm sweaty and I'm ready to just chillax. Maybe watch some Maury Povich. You know, you are not the father TV show. Cracks me up. Sometimes I wonder if that shit's not staged or whatever but it's still entertaining nonetheless so um yeah I don't know why I didn't get the light I mean what is going on so you guys earlier today I got into it with the FedEx driver because um I had the green arrow to turn to make a left hand turn and when I made my turn the next traffic light which was underneath the overpass of the of the expressway um, the next traffic light was red, so I couldn't go anywhere. The cars behind me couldn't go anywhere. Traffic was at a stop. And, you know, after a few seconds of turning and waiting to move forward, my light turned red and the other turning lane turned green. So this FedEx truck was, like, laying on his horn. And I'm looking at him like, what the fuck does he want me to do? Like, I can't go anywhere. Nobody else can go anywhere until the next light turns green. So he decides to open his door and start yelling at me. So of course, I am like, fuck you. You know, I'm screaming and yelling and I'm like, fuck you. You know, what the fuck do you want me? I'm, I'm going off because, I mean, you're yelling and screaming at me about something that I cannot control. And you're a FedEx driver, you're representing a company you're in a work truck, in a uniform, like, going off on me because you can't, like, drive. I don't know. It just really pissed me off. You know, especially when you're in a work truck, like, representing the company. I don't know. Have some behavioral, like, control. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to get like that, but don't push me, okay? Don't push me. So, anyway that's what happened this morning I'm telling you what people are so stupid you know it'd be different if I'm just like on my cell phone or you know just staring off into space and not driving and I'm just chilling while the lights green you know what I'm saying that would be different okay then blow your horn at me to let me know hey snap out of it let's get it going but I mean it's, I'm just ranting because it really pissed me off. So, yeah, that's that. I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to do this weekend. What are y'all doing for Memorial Day? Um, any type of, like, military, you know, honoring or anything like that, I'm really into it because I am a military brat myself. Um, you know, all three of my brothers, one was in the military, two are currently, you know, well, my older brother is about to retire, but my whole family is, like, military, so, of course, I have the utmost respect, um, for our military men and women, 
and I do like to honor those um, that have died serving our country. I think that is a huge sacrifice, you know, to the families and the children of our fallen soldiers, and I respect that to the utmost. So, if there are any military, you know, active duty, non-active duty, you know, retirees, veterans, whatever, I applaud you and I thank you. I'm getting really emotional because it really touches my heart. I mean, that subject is very sensitive to me because as a child, you know, my dad spent many, many, many years, you know, deploying and being away from home and I used to miss my dad so much and worry, you know, that I'd never see him again and same for my brothers. Like, it's just, you know, it's a sacrifice that they make for their, you know, to for their country, you know, and it's, I don't know. I will go on and on and on about this and eventually I'll start tearing up if I don't stop now. So anyway, I'm home and um, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to show you really quick. Um, well, it's a commercial break because I'm watching Maury, but I'm going to show you really quick what I got from Family Dollar. Okay, so I already showed you what I got from Sally's. Okay, so that's Sally's. So from Family Dollar, I got... Uh, what are these called? Cotton swabs. I got these uh, candy straw things for the kids. They're like powder and they're really, really long. So I got that. Let me move this out of the way. I got the bug spray. I got some more begging strips for cookie. I got two cans of air freshener, one for each bathroom. So I got the Airwick air freshener, I got Hawaii, and lavender and chamomile, and I got the Backwoods Cutter brand um, bug spray. I got these pinwheels for the yard in honor of Memorial Day, so they're red, white, and blue. I got Sophie another pair of tennis shoes. And they look like little kids. They look like that. So cute, right? I got my mom this Hawaiian solar operated thingy. Um, got my freezer bags that I needed. I got the quart size and the gallon size. Got those. I got two boxes of hot tamales. I think I had mentioned this before that this is my favorite candy. So I got two boxes of those. I got another one of these solar dancing things. This is a flamingo. And the last thing I got was another container of baby wipes. And I keep these in the car just for, you know, when there's sticky hands or dirty feet or whatever. But anyway, that's what I got from Family Dollar. Maury's back on, so now I'm going to finish I wanted watching. to mention really quickly because I forgot, um, I forgot to talk about this the other day, but I went to Walmart and I picked up a few things, so I figured since I showed you what I got from Family Dollar I, and Sally's, I might as well show you what I picked up at Walmart. Um, I had talked about these many times before. These are um, like flushable wipes, and this is a three-pack. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was like $6 at Walmart. And they're just the Equate brand, which is the knockoff brand for Walmart. So there's three packs of those. And then I had got, these are the Equate Sensitive Skin um, Towelettes. They're fragrance and alcohol free. So these are comparable to like the Olay Sensitive um, Cleansing Towelettes. So I got a pack of these and these were like $3.00. <laughs> Excuse me. And then I picked up a bunch of these um, masks. So I did use one of them already, and um, I bought Lewis two that were specifically um, for men, but he's got them put up somewhere. But the first one is, and I think these are all by Freeman. Yeah, they're all by Freeman. This is the Honeydew and Chamomile Sleeping Mask. 
And then I got, um, and some of these are like peel off and some of them you rinse off. This one you leave on overnight and then you wash your face in the morning. This is the Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Away Clay Mask. This one is the Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. This is the Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. And I did have another one of these. Um, just a little bit different, but it was um, some kind of charcoal and black sugar um, mask. I used it the other day. This is the Diamond Mineral Rinse Mask. And then this is the Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. These are candies that I talked about in my last haul. They're like candy cigarette sticks. They're just fun, whatever. So those are the masks that I bought and that I'll be using. Um, I've mentioned this a bazillion times before. I had a really bad um, allergic reaction to something. So I'm going to start treating my face to a mask at least once a week just to... I don't know, pamper it a little bit, if you will. So, yeah. Thank God I haven't had any, like, issues with my skin. They did um, prescribe me Retin-A. So, um, I have that. Um, and that's about it. So, yeah. I got to pick my husband up from work in about two hours. So, I think I'm just going to chillax. Maybe watch some YouTube. Maybe do some editing. Um, I don't know. So, 